guys what is going on and welcome to my channel so for today's video I am going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the newly released sugars metal matte liquid lipstick now they have come out with 12 beautiful shades and I picked out only four of them because it is expensive as f and it is the end of the month and my bank account is kind of quaking right now so I have mentioned the shades on the description box below do check that out and for foundation shade reference I am at NC40 in MAC now if you have not already do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I do upload and now let's jump right into the video This sugar metal liquid lipstick is thank god not metallic and it is a matte liquid lipstick. Now for the description on the website it is given that it is a long lasting and a nourishing formula that keeps lips covered with intense bold colour from AM to PM. Now it has a luxe creamy texture which is not only ultra lightweight but also silky smooth. Now it is packed with avocado oil, antioxidants and vitamin A, C and E. This non-sticky, non-drying lipstick promises to take good care of your pouch while delivering a rich, intensely pigmented color and finish. So these are not yet sold on Nykaa and it is sold only in their own website and this is priced at 1,199 rupees for 7ml of product. So this is how the packaging looks like. It has this nice coppery rose gold kind of a glossy finish with the black writing. On top you have is the shade number and the name. So this is how the packaging is actually secured. You literally have to untwine and get to your product and once you you do it looks literally like a coffin and a comfortable coffin actually <laughs> now coming to the product packaging I really like how it looks luxurious and minimalistic at the same time now it does come in a transparent kind of a container which is plastic and it has the shade name at the bottom and the sugar is written on top and the logo is actually embossed on the cap and I also like the usual theme of it, which is this copper rose gold kind of a color. And for the applicator, this is how the doe foot applicator looks like, which is normal. And also, once you close it, it is pretty secure. You heard the click? So it's a pretty secure kind of a closure as well. Now coming to the most important part which is the formula. Now these are not creamy by any means at all like mentioned in the website. I feel they are more like liquidy texture. Not like a dripping liquid but a good normal liquid lipstick and they do take about 10 to 15 seconds to kind of set but once it is set it is extremely budge proof and they are highly pigmented they are extremely lightweight and they feel comfortable on the lips they are not sticky they are not that super drying on the lips like you do not feel like there is a layer of liquid lipstick on your lips that's how I feel it feels like now if I compare it with the sugar smudge me not collection now the similarities in both of them are the liquidy fully pigmented butch proof transfer proof and it is hella difficult to remove and that is where the similarity ends but with these metal liquid lipstick when you lick your lips there is like a very ultra thin layer of lipstick and it is not as drying as the smudge me not collection like it doesn't feel like it will become like a prune by the end of the day so yeah and I wore the shade Rigel which is number 11 and I had some amazing lunch which was biryani which was a super freaking heavy meal but even after having that this is how my lipstick looked like it had that outline of lipstick but all I had to do was press my lips take my fingers and dab a little bit here dab a little bit there and it was good to go now coming to the price point now these are priced at 1199 for 7 ml of product now if you remove the tag of sugar the brand sugar but if you just look at the packaging the formula the pigmentation the color payoff the transfer proof the comfort the long lasting the non-drying and non-sticky part of it 
I feel it is worth it. But then if you add the brand Sugar, I feel they're getting a lot of heat. And personally, I feel the reason is because like the Smudge Me Not collection has a lot, a lot of fan following. Like it's like a cult favorite for a lot of people. And that is priced only at 499 rupees. And this one at 1199 seems like a huge hike but then if you compare the quantity the metal liquid lipstick has about 7 grams of product wherein the smudge me not has only about 4.5 grams of product just another example is the kalaba sinful matte lipsticks now those are like the normal bullet lipstick it has that powdery matte kind of a finish but those are again priced at 1200 rupees which is the same as the metal liquid lipstick but in the quantity it is only 3 3.8 grams of product wherein this one is 7 grams of product now i have reviewed the color bar sinful matte lipsticks i do love them i'm not being shady i'm just comparing the same price point but the difference in the quantity so when i consider all of that i do not find the price point to be like a con i'm just gonna keep it in the middle it's not a pro it's not a con either but then coming to the cons it's nothing to do with the formula but just the marketing part of it the fact that when it was released, I think on the 21st or 22nd of July, they did not have a single arm swatch. They just had these few snippets of clippings of these models, which I actually do appreciate. They had different skin tone models, but it was just a quick snippet of the lipstick that they are wearing, nothing else. After four or five days later, they came out with the arm swatches and then there was a video with the models wearing different lipsticks and everything which i do appreciate but at that time when i bought it it was pretty frustrating not to find a single reference or a single arm swatch or anything at all i literally had to just shop blind so yeah that was the con and these were my thoughts and now let's finally move on to the lip swatches